Good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. It is Sunday morning at the moment. I'm just sat in the kitchen having my favourite pucker cleanse tea. I actually feel new is my favourite but there you go. <laughs> I'm just getting ready actually to do a Instagram live. Uh, this is my first ever live on Instagram and it's going to be a really lovely one, a 30 minute yoga flow. Um, it's already been and gone by the time you're watching this video but I'm joining up with Sophie Deer who is an amazing yoga instructor who used to teach me in London. She used to come around to my house and she taught me how to do headstands. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. I can't believe it's my first ever live though. I feel like I'm really overthinking it at the moment. Like, you know, when you try something for the first time, I'm like, oh, what if the Wi-Fi cuts out? Like, I don't know, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Um, so that's the perfect way to start the Sunday morning and it's a beautiful day actually it's like I think it's going to be about 20 degrees which for the UK in April is very very nice and so we obviously can't like go outside and fully enjoy it but we're lucky enough to have a bit of like a courtyard garden so we'll definitely soak up the rays um, and then we're also going to be making a like a nut roast a vegan roast today we've got so many vegetables to use so last night we were like what can we do we're just like let's just roast everything we'll have an amazing vegan nut roast and joe also has an idea to make banana pancakes after yoga so i'm excited i think it's going to be a lovely sunday <laughs> My first ever live, yay! It was a really, really lovely yoga practice. Literally the best way to begin a Sunday morning, right? And Sophie had this idea for us to have a little bit of a boogie at the end as well, which is so fun. I've never done that after yoga because usually after yoga, you're like super, I don't know, chilled and zen obviously. Um, but she was like, as you know, what's going on in the world, it makes sense to just uplift people, especially in the morning and just have fun and just dance and I loved it, it was really good. So I think we're going to crack on and make some pancakes today. Today's literally the best day ever. Pancakes are about to be on the go. I forgot to film this, so what did we put in there? It was like, um... One banana. One banana. Um, a cup and a half of oats. Yeah, and we um, blended them to make an oat flour first, didn't we? With a cup and a half of oat milk yep. and some baking powder. How much baking powder? It was just one teaspoon of baking powder and it's a completely smooth batter now. So we've just got a little bit of coconut oil heating in the pans. So we're going to do two at a time. <laughs> pancakes are looking absolutely divine. I think these are the best pancakes that we've ever made. Every single one is perfect. Look at that stack. Delicious and it's so simple. We've got some berries, we're going to slice a banana, we've got some maple syrup, green tea by Pucka, and then some OJ. And Joe is just making some bread and <laughs> reading the instructions. Got it all. Woo! Going off. <laughs> Delicious. They are so, so yummy. I've layered it with bananas in the middle as well. And raspberries and blueberries and maple syrup. So good. 
I wore this beautiful black body by Organic Basics to do yoga. It's not actually made for yoga, it's a body that you can wear with jeans, leggings, it's like super super comfortable and soft, but I thought why don't I wear it for yoga this morning and I'm so glad I did because it, it feels, you feel naked, like you don't feel like anything's on you, it's amazing like the movement you get and also the bra that I'm wearing as well is also by Organic Basics and they have sent me some beautiful things that I want to show you and I also have a discount code that will be in the description box as well. Here are the things that I'm super excited to show you, I'm going to take this through to the lounge in a minute and do like almost a haul I suppose but these are the little boxes that they come in. It's all packaged so beautifully and like I said before, completely sustainable and organic. So I've got everything here that I want to show you, but first of all, this body. So it's like a vest and the material is so, so soft. It's made from over 80% recycled nylon. And it's not actually meant to be, I'll show you the back, it's not actually meant to be for yoga. But because of how soft it is and it, it's so lightweight, I just thought that's all I want to do yoga in. And I've got the bra on underneath and this bra is made from Tencel, which is an amazing material. I've actually worn a lot of the Tencel products before and they are made from wood, which is unbelievable. All of the materials are listed on the Organic Basics website. The w website's actually amazing. It's so full of information on how they make these products organic and sustainable. Everything that they do is about being as environmentally friendly as they can be. I'll show you the cute little knickers, the panties that go with the bra that I'm wearing now. They are so, so soft. And on every single item it says what they're made from. So these are made from the 95% Lyocell Tencel. Um, and these are sustainably produced in Portugal. So I love the transparency of it. It's quite hard, um, especially these days in fashion, to trace back exactly where your clothes have come from. And I think there's a massive disconnect between that. Like, where do your clothes actually come from? Who made them? What are they made from? And that's what I love about this brand. It's so transparent. I'll show you the other bra as well. I tried this on and could not believe how comfortable this was. 95% organic cotton and it's sustainably produced in Turkey. So I loved the nude colour. You can literally wear this with everything. It's completely seamless. Like when it's on, I noticed that underneath even a white t-shirt, you just couldn't see it and it felt so comfortable that you can't even feel that it's there. Oh, I need to show these knickers as well because I love these kind of knickers. So these are the completely seamless ones and these are perfect for summer dresses. Uh, or even leggings, you know when you're doing yoga and if you've got tight knickers you kind of get that like dip, I don't know, from where your, your knickers are too tight basically. That's why I love these because again it just feels like there's nothing there and you can't see them, they're completely invisible. And I also got these in this other gorgeous colour with a matching vest top. Now this vest top I feel like might be different material, this is, oh no it's again the same. 82% recycled nylon, designed in Denmark and sustainably produced in Turkey. So this brand is a small business from Copenhagen. While we're at home, being able to support those smaller businesses as much as we can is very, very important. And that's also why I'm loving Organic Basics because who doesn't want to feel comfortable right now? Like, I don't want to be wearing bras with the wires, uh, or tight-fitting t-shirts and jeans and heavy items. I just want super lightweight, cosy and comfortable clothing that isn't going to bother me. I love this. I actually tried this on with jeans and it looked really, really nice, like tucked in because this neckline... Shall I show you? I might put this on to show you because the neckline is really beautiful. And Joe actually noticed as well. He was like, wow, I've never seen you wear like a neckline like that. So it's a beautiful square kind of neckline. And with that tucked into jeans, it looked so, so nice. And the back has the similar like shape to it. And then there's this vest top. This one is probably like my favorite material. It feels so light and silky. It feels silky. And this is the Tencel. So uh, sustainably produced in Portugal and it's 95% Lyocell Tencel. And I loved that colour. Like a beautiful blush, dusty rose colour. And then I just 
had to get a very simple classic t-shirt. This is made from the organic cotton, just an everyday essential, and I'm out of white plain t-shirts at the moment um, because I've still got my suitcase from India. So everything from India is like my summer dresses and I'm basically living in yoga clothes right now because that's the only kind of appropriate clothing that I had in India that I can wear here at the moment with this weather. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy that I now have a very cosy and soft organic t-shirt that just goes with everything. I would definitely recommend having a look on their websites because I found out so much information about what they're about, what their ethos is and what they're trying to do in the fashion industry. They're trying to slow down fashion so they're doing amazing things and um, so if you're interested in sustainable fashion definitely go and check them out and check out the discount code that I have in the description box down below. I will mention this later as well just to remind you. Can you hear that? <laughs> Joe's put on a loaf of wholemeal bread. This keeps us up at night. When we have the bread maker on during the night, we just hear that clicking noise. So that's why we've done it today when we wake up. So yeah, that is Organic Basics. Have a look, check them out and see what they're doing to change up the fashion industry. This weather is amazing. <laughs> we haven't seen sunshine like this since we were in Mumbai. <laughs> yeah, even then so it's lovely. Off again. Oh, look at Ronnie. Ronnie! Run, run. Run. Hi, you. <laughs> Can you see that? Hey, Ron. We're just hanging out in the garden. Um, I'm reading a book, actually. Let me show you. I need to do a little bit of work, which is why I've got my laptop here. But this is Shantaram. And I bought this before... Oh, no. Actually, this was a gift, I think. Yeah, I have a feeling this was a gift. So I'm excited to, to start this today. Have you read it? I got it, like, halfway through. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. I've heard amazing things about it. We've also got these Misfits uh, plant-based chocolate caramel protein bars. I had one the other day and they are incredible. I don't think, Joe, have you had one yet? No, not yet. They are so good, you're gonna love that. It's like a proper chocolate bar with caramel. So oh. yummy. It's got 16 grams of protein, that's really good. Oh, yum. So good. I'm just making some homemade crumpets. Look at this. <laughs> Talk about upcycling these are just i think they were like tin chopped tomatoes or something um this is how it's meant to be done this is max lamana's crumpet recipe completely vegan venetia kindly sent these to me from his book because i didn't have his book with me here um these are the 12 plastic free crumpets i've got the ingredients there this is what they're meant to look like I'm really, really excited. I have made these before and they did turn out well, but I have a feeling these are even better. This is the batter. It's been sitting for an hour. So yeah, I've got four on the go at the moment. And they're looking pretty good. Can you see the bubbles coming through? And there we go, the finished product. Homemade vegan crumpets. And I'm going to spread some of this dairy-free butter on top and maybe some jam, because I love crumpets with butter and jam. Something sizzling away over here. Woo! Woo! His red cabbage. Woo! Red cabbage. We're making a Sunday roast. It's obviously 100% vegan, and we are kind of cheating because we're putting a ready-made nut roast in the oven, which you guys know I don't normally do. What's going on over here? Um, but we are basically roasting all of the leftover veggies that we have. So we've got roasted parsnips 
carrots, broccoli, Joe's making his speciality roast, what is it, it's red cabbage. Red cabbage with stuff. With stuff, and it's so delicious. Uh, what am I working on right now? Oh, I'm going to make controversial tomato sauce to go with the roast dinner. This would never normally be done for like a Sunday roast here in the UK, but we don't have a gravy or like any gravy granules or anything. So we thought we would just do like a really nice rich tomato and garlic sauce for the nut roast to sit on top of and then we'll have all of the roasted veggies on the side so it'll still be good. This is the tomato sauce that I've just made. Joe's amazing cabbage, that looks delicious. We've got some roasted broccoli on the go here and then also our nut roast. This is by Clive's, it's, what's it called, Clive's? Clive's Nut Roast. Clive's Nut Roast, there we go. <laughs> God, look at the state of here. Oh dear, and up here. <laughs> I roasted them with some fresh rosemary. Also, there's some garlic cloves in there. There we go. Oh, yum. I'm pretty pleased with this. So, we've got our nut roast, red cabbage, roasted parsnips and carrots, broccoli, and a tomato sauce with spinach. Yeah. I also threw a bean burger in there. And a bean burger. <laughs> I'm going to get ready for bed now. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Another day self-isolating in quarantine, just staying at home. But I feel so lucky to be where we are, where we have a bit of outdoor space to just soak up the rays like we did today and just get some fresh air. I will leave the discount code for Organic Basics in the description box down below so make sure you check that out. I'm wearing one of those tops actually now. Super super comfortable. All of it is so comfortable so I'm looking forward to next week just lounging around wearing all of the Organic Basics stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed watching us today. Oh there he is. I've got a little bit of Joey in the background there. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.